Welcome back to the TV1 Training Academy studio. Uh, in this short uh, masterclass video, we're going to look at source settings. Um, I've got my presets fired up behind on, on, number, on number six uh, window display, and I've got all my sources set up. Uh, at the moment, uh, Windows window number two is the jellyfish. I'm going to turn that to be NASA. I'm going to put that in the middle there. Let's go into the settings for that window. So we can come down here on the bottom right to the cog. That fires up settings. First thing I can do is I can rename the source. So at the moment, you notice down here under B, it says slot two in one. So I want that to say NASA TV. It's a great little website. It's one of, one of my favorites. That now says NASA TV. Here's the input name, the input type, the resolutions. Let's come down to labeling. So this is open already. I'm going to just switch the label on. And you can see it's, it's picked it up already. There are a number of options. I can put custom text in here. So if I, if I wanted to uh, put, uh, I'll put control room in here. And you'll notice now I'm using the source alias. I could use the source alias and the label text. So that's really cool. I can put two pieces of information up there. I can align this in different ways. So at the moment it's, it's aligned there. If I want to put it uh, to, the, to the top, I want to put it to the right a little bit, I can, to the left. So it gives me some choice of positioning. If I want to uh, invert the colors, I can make this black on white, which I think I'll leave it like that. I like that. I can also add a border color. So there's a whole choice, choice of colors. Let's do a NASA type blue, and then we can add borders uh, on there as well. I'll just have a really thin border. That's really useful for, for highlighting people what you want them to look at, of course. Uh, next of all, let's go down to input settings. So I'll close some of these down. Um, input settings, um, there's the input type, uh, the color scale we're using, set to auto at the moment. Source loss color, there's, there's a big selection here. It's quite useful to set each uh, input as a different source loss color to quickly identify them. Uh, there's some proc amp control. So th this is, uh, gives you the ability to just make some small changes in terms of uh, contrast and uh, brightness. So let's, well, I'm going to pop these back roughly in the middle, but that's quite useful to just equalize out uh, your source brightness across your piece. Uh, next of all is source cropping. So let's uh, crop the top. And I'll just put in a, a, rude, a random number. I'll put in 50 and you see it stretched the material up. Obviously you have to do left and right as well to uh, keep the uh, format size, but that's really useful. If you've got a feed coming in, it's got black lines on it, you can quickly take that out. HTCP, on and off. Um, dither, um, I'll, I'll switch this on and off, but you won't see a great deal of difference on this feed. Uh, it's designed when you get a feed that's got bad banding on it, it just smooths out the edges. Edit management, audio level, and muting as well. And then lastly down the bottom, this is my border for my window. So I'm gonna put a red on this, you can see I can have a border. I can have different color borders on that as well. So some really little handy, handy settings in there, quick to set up. And, and as soon as I've made all my settings, I can save that back to the file and save it onto the device at the top right here as well. So hope that's useful. Uh, stick with us. We're gonna, there's loads more masterclass videos in this Car Review series, but uh, that is source settings. Bye for now.